girls and welcome to my channel I am going to be doing another coffee table mirrored coffee table DIY made from a cardboard box I know a lot of you loved the original one which was over 100k views thank you so much for everyone who gave it a thumbs up a comment and a view I appreciate you so much and all the new subscribers that came from that video you're so welcome um, so basically I thought how about I do it in gold because you know I love gold decor a lot and that's what I wanted to try. I'm also going to be doing this right here which is a Louis Vuitton inspired um, coffee table, no, mm, vanity tray, what am I thinking? And um, this whole idea was just in my mind and I just decided let me do it and I use like vinyl stickers that are like metallics so I can't wait for you to show, I can't wait to show you how I did this and yeah stay tuned, grab your coffee, grab your tea and let's do the DIY video. So yeah let's go. This is just how it looks like from a, from the top of the table and I love this so much. I did it again. I made another coffee table except this one is made in gold. So it's like my first one. So if you want to see how I did this, definitely and that. <laughs> I'm going to show you how I did that. Definitely stay tuned. I'm going to show you how I did all of this in this video. I made something to match the coffee table which is this nice mirrored designer inspired Louis Vuitton um, vanity tray so definitely stay tuned give this video a big fat thumbs up before you watch it and subscribe down below if you're new to my channel and yeah let's get this video going bye now I got my spray can in gold from Home Depot and it's three dollars and ninety seven cents by Ross Oleum and I'm going to be spraying it to the pizza tray and the pizza tray is from Dollar Tree for one dollar. So I'm just going to spray it down. Can you believe that pizza tray is one dollar? Like it's the cheapest thing in this whole project. And before I go on, the mirror I got fits exact and it's actually from Hobby Lobby. So I was filming at dark so you're not going to see the gold but this gold is absolutely amazing. It's so rich and I love this. So off camera I put the Louis Vuitton on the Hobby Lobby mirror and I stuck it down I'm going to show you how I stick the stickers down but I just put it in place before this video and this mirror fits the pizza tray exact and it's from Hobby Lobby so I've got my stickers out and I'm putting them in place kind of messing around with it I actually regret not getting a big patch that covers the whole mirror because I wanted it to cover it completely so next time I'm going to ask the um, seller on Etsy and I'll put her links down below where you can get the stickers from for a wallpaper size so it can cover the whole mirror because I think that's just so much more prettier. So I'm going to place the stickers down. I use my nails, the back of my nails, some people say use a credit card and just kind of firm it you know with the back of your nails now I'm gonna peel that off you have to be really careful and just peel that off very gently and kind of use your nails to kind of press it down at the same time and keep doing that back and forth some are gonna come up some are gonna stay but just keep going back and forth you have to be really patient with this if you brush it's going to be bad So I did this off camera and I want to show you how I did it and I just put the glue down and I used Gorilla Glue to put the mirror on top of that. So what I do is I put the cork glue on it and just let it get tacky and right here I used the wrong glue I didn't use cork glue but I found out cork glue is really strong and you only need a little bit because as you can see it goes everywhere 
so you have to be really careful you only need a little and that's why I have to like tap it off and keep reapplying it as you're about to see you only need just a very small size because you're literally basically pressing it down and when you press it down all that extra glue is moving around so I have to take some of that off before it dries so you need just literally a tiny pin drop of glue not much like that's way too much And here's how the finished product looks like without any of the stuff on it. You can use this to put your remote control on, you can put it in, on a coffee table which you're about to see what I do with it later and um, you can use it as a vanity in your you know, beauty table, your bathroom and put perfumes on as you're about to see as well. I'm going to show you how it looks like with perfumes and lipsticks and makeup on it. It's just a really nice tray vanity tray so a designer edge and I'm gonna try it with Chanel so get ready if you want to see the Chanel um, DIY on how to do this comment down below and I'm gonna do that next so get ready to see it on my channel soon and subscribe if you're not so it's done it's absolutely beautiful I put my perfumes on there my Chanel perfume just looks so good with the Louis Vuitton even though they're two different brands but it just has that extra glamour on it so I absolutely love it and I put my lipsticks there So here are the frames I got from Dollar Tree, they're 8 times 10 and they fit my box perfectly. By the way, if you want to know where I got my box from, I got it from a place in my area and it's called Half Price Boxes and it's only in Houston, I don't know if they have any other states but it looks like a family owned business and I'm going to be using this mirror effect because all of you subscribers swear that this will work and I'm going to prove to you it doesn't work, like doesn't work, nightmare. <laughs> but I'm just doing this video to prove it I'm gonna remove the backs keep these backs just this back the black part that you see me taking off keep it because you're gonna need it at the end of this video well at the end of when you put your picture frame back together with the mirror back inside so keep it you can get rid of this paper keep the glass because you're gonna need it for this project my last one we didn't need it that we didn't need the glass because remember we used glass from Lowe's but in this video we're going to be using the Dollar Tree glass which is interesting because it's you'll see flimsy <laughs> but anyway that's another story but yeah for this video we're going to be keeping it in my other one we didn't So I'm going to be taking this spray paint which claims to turn this glass into like a mirror like look. Now I'm going to spray it on and I'm going to give you my verdict right now. This is absolute BS. It's not that amazing. Like just by mirrors. This doesn't really, it just looks like spray paint that has some kind of mirror look to it. So it's a waste of money. It's a very small can. Don't buy it. Just get mirrors. Just save yourself the hassle. I learned in a very hard way with this project. So I'm going to apply my cork around the edges, right at the top and right at the bottom especially, where the frames are going to be touching and sometimes I apply a little to my frame but it gets a bit messy. So I'm now going to place them down, I've put the in quote mirrors into the picture frame and I'm just going to place them. So I'm going to hold 
this like bring them as close as possible together and hold it down for a bit it takes long to dry i'm just letting you know cork does not dry fast but once it dries it's tough apply a little bit of glue and make it get tacky on the sides when the glue is tacky press them together make sure they're always on the sides so the two sides join up and they get stuck together so that's what i did have glue on the sides as well okay so now we're done knots so we have to add the glass on top and the mirror in quote mirrors they have this vintage blurry look that i just that i don't like it i'm gonna be honest so for everyone who says oh the mirrors and dollar trees will work, will work it doesn't work just get really good mirrors from lowe's like the other one and yeah don't use those mirrors don't or glass from dollar tree I'm going to use my Loctite, Loctite glue and put in the glue gun, um, cork sorry, and apply it everywhere until you literally have it everywhere. You want a lot of glue cork on this to hold the mirror down perfectly. Put down the mirror and it's done. Whew, love it. I absolutely love it. Comment below, do you like the gold or do you like the silver? I love the gold. The gold is definitely really chic looking. Love it, love it. Okay, so I'm now gonna place the um, DIY that I did, the Louis Vuitton um, mirror tray on top and put everything, place everything on top so you can see how this project came out. So yeah, stay tuned. That I have for the table, I have an E and I have a gold hello sign. So I think I'll do the gold hello sign first and just plop it right in the middle So maybe have it like there, I don't know, let's see, how does that look, okay, okay, we'll leave it there for now, book, I also have the classic Chanel book which was in the first DIY and this book is just gorgeous and it's got gold on the edges so we can try this maybe have it it's all about positioning so maybe have it like dropping off of Rihanna's Vogue book like that those birds are trying to like mess up this video and have the hello like there does that look okay and then Let's see. Oh, we actually have something. So I'm going to push these away, like further down. This is not the focus. They're just going to sit on there. I actually have something, the DIY that we actually made. <laughs> it can sit on, off, hanging off the tray like that. I don't know. That does look good though. Or we can bring the, the um, Chanel and Vogue book and bring them close. And then it can just, I guess, sit on the book like that. Yes. <sighs> Isn't this like perfection? I love it. It's like pinky. My favorite like colors, golden pinks. <gasps> oh my God, how fabulous. And this is all like very easy to do projects. Oh, how fabulous is this? Don't you like it? Oh my God, I love it. It's perfect. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think we outdid ourselves this time, didn't we? Love it. Oh, this is perfect. Ooh, love it. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to debunk something about Dollar Tree. So as I told you, everyone told me, go to Dollar Tree. In the first ever video I made, they said, go to Dollar Tree and get the mirrors, use the mirrors that come with the frame and spray paint and spray paint them to look like a mirror. Let me show you why I was right the whole time. Dollar Tree mirrors are cheap. Get your mirrors from Lowe's. The same mirror that's here, that is durable, use that. Look at Dollar Tree mirror. It broke. So I've debunked that once and for all. Do not get Dollar Tree. It's too much headache just to spray paint. It's not necessary, especially if you have to do 12 site, 12 pieces. Don't go to Dollar Tree because you're going to end up with that. <laughs> Let that be a warning to everyone who's trying to make this project. Get the same mirrors you have on top. Don't go through all that extra hassle. The first way I did it was the best way. 
And here, my Louboutin book. So I decided, should I put a Louboutin book on here? You dolls, if you watch my DIYs, go and check them out. I'm thinking of selling these on Etsy. Um, so comment down below if you want to buy these. I'm going to have them for sale on Etsy. And this is my Louboutin book, Christian, Louboutin inspired book. And I did a whole DIY how to make it. Yes, I even spray paint the pages red <laughs> in honor of Loub Christian Louboutin. So this is my Spike book. It's based off a heel he has in his collection. Definitely check my video out on how to make it. And if you want to buy it off of me, definitely comment down below. I can sell this book to you on Etsy. I can make this book for you. So, I'm probably going to leave that on the table. I'm just messing around with the table now. This is a whole other video. But yeah, here's how it looks like from the top. It's beautiful. I love it. Louboutin and Louboutin. Louboutin and Louboutin. This is like your designer chic table. Oh, I love it. And here's how the project turned out. If you like this video, give it a big fat thumbs up. If you're new to my channel, subscribe down below. Let me know what you liked about this video and I'll see you dolls in my next one. Bye. Love you dolls.